Alright, welcome to Noobs in Combat. This is what you see when you first uh, join the game. Now if you go to the first one over here, this is your profile. You would start with these units, not with these. I've already edited it. You, you can also get uh, some uh, for starting resources from well, the greeting. And then on number two, you're able to research units and upgrade them using chicken nuggets. And then this is just a shop. So now let's create a room. Let's make it a private room because you're only able to get one player. So this is what you only see when you first join. Press infantry and tanks. Uh, you would also get rewards, but I've already done this. Uh, yeah. Uh, we'll just be waiting for a bit. Alright, now the game has started. It's on my turn right now. You see these uh, tickets over here? That's for helping you um, spawn additional units. Uh, that's an outpost, but there aren't any right now. Metal is just what you need for tanks, as well as uh, needing tickets, because that's just like the cost of just spawning them in. So now you can see I've got... Um, I just moved a couple of my guys, so it looks like chess. Now you have to do, there's some units that can carry other units, like this bazooka and the supply truck, so I'm just moving inside there. Then I can just move them straight up, and then I can kick the bazooka out on the same turn. Now, there's still, you can also kind of like, if you really want to cluster all of your units, you can do that. And now we'll just move the rest of our units up. And we'll just end our turn and wait for the enemy to play the turn. So now you see, you just saw a couple of those guest guys pop out of the trees. Yeah, that's what we're doing here as well. So now we can obviously tell that there's a threat. Now, to deal with threats, you just need to pretty much click on the bottom left corner next over here. Oh, I don't think I made that right. Oh well, doesn't matter. Because if you're within the range, uh, you'll be fine. So, uh, there's also something you need to know. These are all the perks are. So, the grunts currently have radio, corn fire support. We don't have that right now. This is the accuracy. So, we have 100% accuracy. That's the amount of knockouts we have, health, morale. Now, this is very important because if it's low, uh, we're not going to be able to damage people as much. So, now we're just going to move these guys around. Just barely comprehensibly. Now, the trucks, what you can do is that you can, uh, quote, attack people. But then it would heal them instead and resupply their guns. And they're quite vulnerable. So you don't exactly want them to just go out there in the wild. So we'll just move them here and end our turn. Now, you see that guys obviously made it into the trees. Look, our grunts over here are suffering quite a lot. In fact, a lot of the raiding parties. Now, you can see the grunt over here, he's used his radio. And we can tell that there's artillery in the trees. Now, you can also... For, I think it's... Uh, yeah, so now it's our turn. We can kind of see the unit there, but normally you would be probably hidden after you, after you end your turn, I think. So, just start that. Now, you can obviously tell that they're very low. They've got low accuracy, low health, damaged morale. So, we need to switch them in and just give them another bunch of shoots, I guess. Ain't got much else to say. Now, let's see. Here's what you can do. I put my guys inside here. I, uh... Ooh, okay. I was about to try to plan and throw them around, but, uh, no, it wouldn't work. Not now. By the way, you have to be careful about what units you use, because I just use a bazooka against the rifle. No, I mean grunts. I mean, it's done some damage, but it's not significant. So, you can also use uh, units to move around uh, your other units faster. And now, you can tell this guy's damaged. Let's go attack him with boxes. 
Now he's definitely better. Let's see who else is not doing so well. Okay. Uh, we're gonna. Ooh, now we can't move. So we just end our turn. And now it's the enemy's turn. We're just shooting the uh, assault rifles at the tank. It does dent the morale. Not much to the hell, but it'll make it less combat effective. And now you see, that guy is looking over toward... What? Okay, I don't know. But uh, he was looking to his right, so he was just... Uh... Oh, and the bazookas they have cooldowns. So you take another turn after firing to then be able to fire it later. So right now, completely vulnerable, completely useless. And also, a uh, screwed up. So, now let's just move those guys back. Not want to get involved. I'm going to let the uh, grunts take care of the business instead. Now, obviously we're having a bit of trouble here. So, always heal the guys. Heal the guys first. Then we'll have a lot better chance of shooting at the guys first. Yeah. If, you do, if you let them shoot first, they run out of the turn. So, it's gun chess. I just made that name up. So... Let's just move this guy in here, move that guy in here, move that guy in here, move him here. Wow, tactics. Oh, I guess that was unnecessary. But it's alright, because now I can just pull off one of these tricks. Just like that. If you hover a gun over your red tile and there's a unit, you can also see how much damage it does. So right now, uh... You will probably seen it when I was uh, attacking the other units. Alright, do a thing for our next turn. Now, this is just what you can tell is self explanatory. You know the artillery's in there. So now, two scout cars have just popped out of nowhere. Ooh, very intimidating indeed. So, let's see how much this can fire. Okay. Oh, by the way, they have fuel, so, uh, each turn you, every time you move, one field disappears off the map. Or maybe the radar, I don't know. And then you just, uh, pack up the guys, maybe, see how it goes. This guy's still damaged. Alright, let's see how this, yeah, this guy's crippled. Um, then we need to just do that. We've got to move these guys around carefully. And then we'll just have this uh, supply truck move somewhere. A lot of parking involved. A lot. Okay. And just move our guys here. And I'll turn. So, I, uh, I probably should have mentioned this. This is our current objective destroy or capture supply depot. Uh, we can either destroy it, blast it to smithery, or we can capture it. So right now, they're targeting the grunts over here, because they're able to capture it in the next few turns. So right now, can't shoot, can't capture. What do you do? Face it, straight head on. And then it'll be able to capture it on the next turn, given the chance. So now let's just blast that away. Oh, accuracy. And then you just, um... Move them around. You just have to uh, act accordingly. I can't exactly say much. Oh, probably. Yeah, you see my mistake? I should have probably moved the truck first before firing. Very important. It might be a whole lot of times like this. And it must have taken a lot of time just moving your units around. Probably bothers a lot of people. He just goes in there. Doesn't really matter. Because why? Because our grunts are over here. Ooh, he might try to artillery. And he's suppressed. Okay. So when they're suppressed, I'm pretty sure he noticed. They overtake the blue, the arrows. So that means they can't move. They're screwed. Really. So, we don't exactly have many choices. So we'll just, just do that. Make sure we give ourselves some supplies first. You can also get rid of the artillery if you want, but I'm just trying to do it probably the most way, I guess. So we can just 
a whole bunch of people around. There we go. Fret's gone. Probably. And just it, it just takes a lot of a long time, depending on how you play the game. So right now I'm taking rather quite a time because I'm just moving every maximizing every opportunity. So you have a limited amount of time to but before your turn is ended automatically. So you would just want to do the whole thing fast. Oh, and now we can capture it. It's done. And no XP. Because that is. Alright, we'll be now going to the second uh, what mission? No, yeah, something like that. Alright, let's create a room, let's go private room. Select the map, introduction, artillery support. Now this is where every game introduces you to the artillery mechanics. Now artillery, it's mostly the units that have have a very large range that we can just throw projectiles from. So you'll be able to see it shortly. It applies to other units as well. Well, a limited number that is. Alright, now it's the enemy's turn first. Well, that's scary. Now, you see here, there's something very strategic about this. The artillery here is within the vicinity of the supply depot. Now, this is one very neat trick that you should know. If you heal it unnecessarily, they are more accurate and have higher morale. That's something you should know. Well, I guess you get to know now. Now, we have a couple of these armor cars. Something neat. Oh, it is rather vulnerable. However, we also have radios. And uh, yeah, think of it as I don't know something. Just considerable. Now we just take our turn strategically, move our guys into the trucks. This guy's he's just poor. He's just forced to go on foot. And then we don't have anything to attack, so we can see our enemy right here. But be aware, we may as well just so happen to be hiding inside the trees, which we can tell. Right now, this poor grunt over here, he just faced a whole bunch of horrors. Out, and our scout, um, our scout armored car is just facing a whole lot of that. So, you can see if, what's the best decision? Do I throw a cannon or do I throw an MG? So, 18 for cannon, 24 MG, so that's probably the best. And you also have to keep in mind, if the trucks were to say go over here, the infantry um, grunt probably just moves over here and shoots the truck entirely dead. So you would not want to have that happen. So what you can do in instead is just lob it out early, shoot it straight back again. Or you maybe should have supplied it first, but it's alright. And now let's just move our guy over here. I mean, our attention. Yep. It's done something. And we shoot it again. Now, you want to be careful when you move. You don't want to just um, move around everywhere because you're going to use up a, a lot of fuel. So let's just make our way over here. Do not want this guy to die. Attack the guy with boxes. Probably everything's fine. Oh, and most importantly, I just forgot to mention, we have access to artillery now. So there's a small range that they cannot fire within, but... Just enough for this much range from here to fire there. So we're just going to use our guys to fire that. See if it works. Yep, he's dead. Now we use the other guy over here to get rid of the man hiding over here. So be very careful. Because um, you might just want to know if you just have enough chances to do anything. So uh, always take your time counting up the numbers. Or whatever. It turns. Well, actually, it is numbers because now we are uh, recharging. I've been very available again. So now we will just move this guy. Oh, be careful. They're just going to straight up shoot me from there. So I might want to do something strategic. Move slightly short. And then just move that guy there. I can't exactly do much for this poor bloke, so we'll just leave him in the middle of the path to fend for himself. 
And the threat's gone, so we'll just move back in here. And just continue over it. Ooh, now we've got a big problem here. Where do we go? Well, here's what we can do. Get the artillery to spray them straight away. Use a cannon against them. One of my favorite ways to kill some. Well, bravo group, actually. Three guys. Probably me to sentence him there. Now, these are our houses. You may ask. Well, interesting. They are very interesting. You can also throw units from vehicles into hiding spots. Isn't that neat? Now, I just want to, like, um, make sure that I regularly refill my guys so they don't, say, exactly combust. Must run out of ammunition. If, that, if they run out of ammunition and you refill them again, so, like, say this is zero, I refill it. Refill it. Refill it. Um, if it takes about two turns, uh, I think it's probably because just saying that this is what you get for not paying attention. Good luck. I think that's what the game's trying to say to you. Which is rather something. Oh my god! We were trapped. So, pretty much, say goodbye to the truck, maybe. Might die. And most importantly, if you just go over here, the radio depends on the position of the unit. So, I mean, the range of the unit. So, my grunts over here, they only have a, um, adjacent tile shooting. So, they can't shoot from the corner. So, they don't get that radio ability. Meanwhile, we've got these uh, armored cars over here. So, they're the ones who just might be able to save. Might. Not suppressed. Alright. So now we can just move the guy back in, because that was an unnecessary move. Uh, have that be dealt with. Oh, like that. And you move it like that. So now, you can just throw him into battle. It just depends how you, work, you want to work. And now we have three radios available. So let's just check. I want to give them some field work. Alright, now we can just start bombarding them. On, oh, yeah, we've got to get rid of that guy. That guy's going to, like, damage our armored cars in the Do not want that to happen. And you can also make some kind of plan, like... Actually, if it, if the if this unit was stuck here, they would have to go around. It, oh, I ran out of time. So you got to watch your time here. So right now, these guys are probably going to handle it. Well, not this guy, not this guy. He's, he's going to get shot. So you have to pay attention. Don't be talking away like the guy who's trying to teach you how to play. Oh, and the objectives. Apparently just uh, murder everyone. What a great objective. So, let's just do that. Do that. Oh, 33%. Give him some money. Something. And we can just make this guy wait over here as a reserve. Make the guy over here. Make the truck go inside the trees. And have them get rid of that. By artillery shell. Now you can just see why I decided to do it. Oh, I was about to like try to like fire the cannon over there, but it doesn't seem like it's gonna work, so. Well, they're not suppressed, that's surprising. And now we can do what anyone can do. Well, not anyone, but anyone who plays this game. <laughs> Alright, let's just get this going. Still moving around. Now, we're just taking care of this guy in the middle. So, guy who's been kind of forgotten in a lot. Uh, oh, this, uh, we can still use the uh, artillery shells over here. Because this guy has his radio. And now we all just have to focus on here, see if we can... Nope, cannot. And uh, end our turn. And this guy's probably gonna destroy our thing. Gone! So you have to shoot them back, right? Give them a box. Then shoot them. If you want it to be effective, because the trucks also run out of supplies. So now there's one remaining enemy left. Everyone knows who it is. So we'll just move up straight to them. And then haul in a lot of artillery strikes. Because that's the entire point of this place. So we can just also kill them away with artillery. See? 
job's done. And we'll just have to wait until... Yep, and then we return to the lobby. And then we will proceed to the next one. Alright, let's go. Private room, yes. Please select the map, introduction, overwatch. Now this is where it introduces you to the other perk, other than radio. So, so far we've only seen... Uh, oh, I forgot to mention that the trucks had orange icons. Those were chairs. Seats. Um, more like, how many times they can store a unit inside them. Like the soldiers. So, uh, yeah, where is it? Yeah, so we just see it here. Is able to transport. So now we have these machine gunners with the neat pictures probably taken from somewhere in the library. Automatically attacks if we're in range. Now you can see the red swords are up. Not much to say for now. I moved them but now I can't fire. I have to wait the next turn to be able to manually select and fire. So let's see. I want to move my assault gun inside the bush. I want to move the MG gun here. Can't move into the house straight away. You actually have to go near the house or n and next to the house, and then you're able to go in. So if I can't move into the house yet, but this this guy can. And let's just move our anti-tank guns. Start moving the supplies around so we can give them something. I mean, like this is the. Oh, don't forget. You can also supply them before they go into a, anywhere. And you can just maximize the chances. So now let's just move our guys through here, through here. Strategically put them all over the place, inside the trees. Then just have them running around and about. Don't want to move the tanks yet. Can't waste the fuel just that fast. Uh, and most importantly, this is a survive mission now. That means... This is going to be certainly hell. Also, for some reason, the riflemen, but uh, yeah, that's the units you would get. It's obviously worse than the. Uh, what am I saying? Um, grunts. So you just. You can go for a defensive position if you'd like, or you can try to attack them, but really, what we're talking about is the Overwatch function. And that's what we really want to demonstrate in this case. So we'll just move the supply truck over here, throw the MG gunner inside the tree, don't move that guy, move this guy, move the light tank around, so now we actually know there is just enough room for him to move around. So that's just two, two, maybe, you can also, you could go if you want, but you can also just give them supplies before they go in any further, because you still have to take some uh, turns to get around. All right. So, because we moved last time, and they didn't have the red swords, they're not, do not going to do anything. So we have to take action. Oh no, what do I do? Done. Now we can just throw our MG gunners straight into the tree, straight into the building, and I'll turn, and let's see what happens next. Oh, they are very intent- Oh, and now you can see, there's a whole bunch of- this feels like Metal Gear Solid. Anyway, now we just know that they fired. So you can see here, this is going to be until when I end my turn, then they use their turn, then when it's my turn again, this will be able to be used again. So right now, not much to say, except that once it reaches zero, it will take a significantly higher penalty. So this guy's going to use that up. Can't do much here. MG gun is just stuck in there. Probably should just throw a whole bunch of units everywhere. Like here. Throw them somewhere. We don't have artillery. So that's a problem. We're just moving our tanks now. You can also improve them again. Then throw them around. But this guy's got a better range. I um, mean, um, range, really? I don't know. Movement. So. He'll get out of the way. Oh, never mind. So he was only able to move that much. So now we are just waiting. That's it. And I'll turn. Get shots again. Get shots again. 
Oh! And he gets shot by the machine gunner. The machine gunner, you see, has corner. So, it only took the scout car all the way to go to the corner of this MG gunner here. So now, uh, since he just stopped him over there and reduced his accuracy, health, and morale, you can just, uh, probably give some nice health care to this guy. Have him hide. And then, depending on what you want to do, you don't want to waste a bullet. You want to use the least amount of turns to get rid of the enemy. So, say goodbye. Just like that. And then we can just send our light a bit more. Start moving our units in. Just gradually making it faster away. Also, this is, these are roads. You, you can move your units onto them. It makes them move faster, but they're also more vulnerable. You can find how they are vulnerable by uh, viewing the tiles. That's uh, for anyone who goes into the Noobs in Combat Discord server, so... Yeah, I'm not exactly going to go into the specific server here, clearly. So now, we have these riflemen. What do you do? Do you move? No, you just sit there like a camping boy. And then you just let them all fire. Uh, you can also intervene with a light tank, but that's going to get them killed with this bunker, which also has the Overwatch perk. Look at them, they're menacing, they want to kill you. Or maybe they're bored because they've been conscripted, but that doesn't matter. So now we'll just sing this over here. Not much to say. Could just keep it here. End our turn. Bam. Dead on the spot. Just like that. And also, if it inappropriate weapons, you can also fire at other units. So like, the anti-tank gun went for the rifleman. We've got a bit of a small problem. Oh, there's light tank here. So gun's just ready. Blast him out of that. Blast him out of that. Ooh, can't fix the problem, so that rifleman might get rid of him or something. Rifleman. Might get our guy killed. Oh, be careful. Before you do that, supply. And shoot him. And you can also see for a veteran now. Like, what, one bronze? Metal? Sure. And we have a bit of a problem here. How do we deal with that? They were all ran out of ammunition. So, our best chance is just to say, you're screwed. Or we can just have them lure over here, attack our guys. The medium tank over here. But you can just see it's just a survival one more day, so I ain't got much to say. And I'm also getting a lot more tickets. Hmm. Oh, and they're dead. And once that concludes, it's been seven days of one. And that is the demonstration of the Overwatch perk. And I think that's how much the game is willing to show you how it, how the mechanics work, but with my own additional commentary and instructions. So now that's gone, I can end this recording.